can I kind of be honest with you guys? Can I be real with you guys? I'm gonna be very real with you right now. I, I understand that my daughter is not gonna be a virgin forever, you know? And I could deal with that. But there's certain things I don't want her to do. Like I really don't want her to have a penis in her mouth. You know what I mean? Like I don't want her to suck a dick. You know what I mean? Like I'm a good dad. I pay the bills, I show up when I need to show up. I take them to Disneyland four times a year. Like I'm a great dad, like why can't I have one request? Just not a penis in her mouth, like that's it. Like I'm a good dad. Like ladies, help me out. Ladies, round of applause if you never went down on your boyfriend. Or uh, see the odds that I'm up against? <laughs> no one even clapped, no one even fucking blinked. I feel like King Leonidas without the 300, you know what I'm saying? Like this is, like, and I get so, like I think about this so much of my day, like, how do I put penis pesticide in my daughter's mouth? Like, how do I block dicks from her mouth? I want to dikembe cut the tumbo dicks in her mouth. So I came up with this idea. Tell me if you guys like it. I'm gonna install fear in her heart every time a cylinder object is close to her mouth. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm waking up in the middle of the night. I'm putting pieces of broken glass in every single banana in the house. I'm shaving down popsicle sticks so every time she grabs one, she gets a splinter right through the palm. All the hot dogs in my house have been expired for months, guys. Months. She warms one up, she cooks one, she eats one, salmonella, boom, I call 911, I pay the ambulance fee. Like, that's the type of fucking commitment that I'm on, guys. I will die for this shit. Thank you. My dream is one day, she becomes valedictorian at her high school. And when she does her speech in front of the whole school on the podium, she does it on a Bluetooth headset because the cylinder mic scares the fuck out of her. So like, get that thing away from me. It's got radiation, it can give you cancer. My dad uses that every night. That's why he's four foot two with no muscles. <laughs>